There are some simple ways to reduce small scale erosion on your southern highlands and southern tablelands property to reduce the risk of erosion. But the first thing land managers need to do is prioritise the areas of their property which need to be treated first. Particularly as some types of erosion can be very costly to repair and may need technical advice. Obvious priorities would include those areas of erosion that pose a threat to your farm infrastructure or valuable land assets. The scale of this erosion will require professional and technical expertise. Structural works such as concrete or rock flumes and diversion banks are required in this case to prevent the gully destroying this dam. Not only dams but also farm tracks, fences and other property infrastructure may also be threatened by erosion. There may be landscape or environmental features on or nearby your property that are highly valued and should be protected from erosion. For example, swamps and chains of ponds. As you can see here, erosion can contribute to sediment, nutrient and pollutants entering our farm dams and our waterways. This not only has a detrimental impact on our drinking water, but also plants, animals and invertebrates that inhabit our waterways. It can also impact livestock health and productivity, as well as loss of productive soil. There's another factor to consider when prioritising erosion treatment on your property. You need to monitor those areas for growth to see whether they're still active or not. So this is fresh sediment, it's come off active erosion. It could be neither bank erosion or it could be a head cut that's moving up the system. This is something you need to monitor. Uh, it's an indication that there is still active erosion in the system. Two factors to consider are catchment size and soil type. These two factors can also be an indicator of future erosion potential. In terms of gully erosion, a tip is to use pegs at the gully head to monitor movement. Set your pegs far enough away from the edge of the gully so that they will not be impacted by the erosion. After significant rainfall events, measure the distance from the pegs to the new head of the gully. This will help you understand the rate the gully is eroding. You might like to set up photo monitoring points to measure the progression of your erosion. Understanding the rate and volume of erosion that is occurring on your property will assist you in identifying those areas that should be treated as a priority. Good land management practices can assist in minimising erosion on your property. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Maintain good ground cover. Monitor existing areas of erosion. Control stock grazing along and in drainage lines.